What is up guys, Johnny B here again today and I'm excited to bring you guys another video on a car that I have been waiting for over like three months that I know was having issues, you know, with the insurance, uh, trying to decide what the payout was gonna be because normally they're, once they're on the website for the insurance auto auction, they go through like within like two weeks, but when they take way too long, that means that they're having some issues and haven't come to a resolve, you know, where they're gonna total the car, where they're gonna pay out or what they're gonna do. You know, I don't know the fine details, but that's pretty much the gist of it, of why cars just take too long to pass by. And I've been looking at this car for the longest time, and I'm super excited to show it to you guys, because this is a 2018 Subaru BRZ TS with 3,900 miles. That's practically brand new, right? The car is, I believe, like a $40,000 car. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's around there. You know, I have an idea. Obviously, with taxes and everything, and by the time you end up financing, you pay a lot more. But, you know, essentially, it's $15,000 over uh, my FRS. When, I, when my FRS was new, that was about twenty-five. dollars So getting this car is kind of exciting, mainly because of the fact that I, you guys saw that I did a wide body kit on one. Obviously, I didn't really post a video on it. I just talked about, like, the, the vertical doors and like the diffuser and stuff like that. Cause you guys have seen enough, you know, Rocket Bunny videos, so I don't have to be posting them, but I'm sure you guys saw a little bit of information on that car. And I fell in love with it. I sat inside of it. I, I looked at the interior. It just, it just felt like a whole different car, even though it's the same car as my car, just the interior was that much more like on a different level, I guess you can say. So I got my hands on one, but unfortunately I got it like this. And you guys might be asking yourself, why did you buy that, Johnny? Like, the thing is destroyed in the front. And the reason is because I got it for 10% of the cost. So you do the math. This car, the first time it came out, um, I got up to 2750, I believe. And uh, I got denied. I won, I won the bid, I got denied. They wanted more money. So I was like, okay. Um, I think they wanted 3,900 by now, but 3,900 by now plus fees, you're looking at like five grand. It's usually almost like a thousand dollars in fees, especially when you buy it uh, through buy it now. So, you know, it's, it gets pretty expensive. The, the auction charges a lot. So after that, I was like, I'm just gonna wait for it. I'm sure no one will buy it. The car's pretty destroyed. Wait until next week. Uh, no one bid against me. Got it for a thousand bucks on the win. And uh, they didn't sell it to me again. Obviously I knew they weren't gonna sell it to me. They dropped their buy now from 39 to 38. So they dropped it a hundred bucks. I was like, okay, I guess they really want their money. You know, they don't want to sell it. Then on this third time, uh, there was a guy in like a little bit of a bidding war with me all the way in Rancho Cordoba, California. So that's like 12 hours away from where I'm at or where this car's at. So they would have had to pay a hefty, you know, sum to try to get the car to them. Uh, so I won. I won the car for 3300 uh, bucks with fees and all that other stuff that they charge. It came up to like 38 and uh, you're seeing it now. So let me show you guys the car. So let me start off by showing you guys the pretty side. Literally this is the only part of it that's pretty. Oh, the wing. The wing survived. That was one of the main reasons that made me buy it. It's a little dirty, but it survived. Look at that. Carbon fiber. STI wing. I looked this thing up. It's like four grand at the dealer. Four thousand dollars for that wing. That's more than we paid for the WRC wing, imported all the way from Poland, for an OEM STI carbon fiber BRZTS. Look at that. A little logo. A little pink sticker. And the wing. It's pretty much the only difference in the back. Tail lights are the same. They're the new ones though. Those are the ones I have on my on my FRS. Uh, the wheels, they're uh, like an 18 inch STI wheel with uh, Brembo's all the way around. So it's got Brembo's front and back. STI, I guess you can say this is like a little side skirt. It, this one for some reason didn't come with the spats. I don't know why is that. The other one had spats on it unless someone stole them. I don't know, or maybe the guy took them off. And let me keep walking you guys around, show you guys the front. This is the part that you guys probably really want to see what the extent of the damage is, right? 
So, obviously the fender is all dented up. This fender usually gets dented because of the accident. It kind of like pushes it back a little bit. The door when you got to get out kind of like smashes it and that's why that is right there. That's just, you know, crashing 101. That always happens. Every single car that gets hit in the front, oh, that fender is always smashed right there because it always, the person has to get out. You guys are probably wondering, does that hood even open, Johnny? And the answer is yes. Yes, it does. Now, I wonder if the hood prop is here. Nope. It's supposed to be here. So I'm guessing that thing flew out. But I can show you guys the engine. Here's the engine. It's got the obviously 2017 plus intake, red intake manifold that I have on my FRS. It has a normal air box. And uh, ooh, there goes an upgrade. Look at that STI. Oh yeah, $15,000 more to get little STI rubbers covering the strut braces. It's totally worth it. Did it even come with a better filter? Nah. So that's what you pay for, for no performance gains on this car. This is one of the reasons why it was unappealing to me. So for anybody that buys them brand new, um, this is the extent of the damage here. So you see that strut bar? see the bar that it has here yeah strut bar this is the strut tower and it is moved over a bit so let's see if we can get some perspective on it wow they actually look kind of the same so you can see this is obviously straight line right there hooks up to that this is supposed to be straight line right here then it's moved over so obviously the main impact was in this front right section kind of smashed up the fuse box that sucks uh engine seems to survived i did notice that this sensor right here broke right there you see that little bolt in the middle sensor broke it, i believe that's a cam sensor i have uh like 20 of those so that's not a problem looks like an idler idler pulley got messed up and uh not much else needs an intake box but who knows if we'll need it always get something nicer battery survived battery didn't get damaged looks good windshield did break um so yeah that's the damage not looking so good is it guys but but what makes it worth it is this piece of right here. Look at that. Perfect. That's just dirt. Yeah, it's just dirt. Look at that. The thing is perfect. These pieces are so expensive from the dealer. And then to be already color matched to my car is great. Look at that. This one survived too. No scratches, no cracks, no nothing. Perfect. And the Brembo survived. Look at that. The Brembo is there. Obviously, the wheel didn't survive that. I think the tire even survived. It doesn't look like it got cut up. It feels like it still has pressure in it, too, because the seal's usually here. Kind of like the Lexus did, where this was, like, broken off, but it still had air pressure in it. So it doesn't look like it's flat. So that's pretty interesting. So, yeah, Brembo survived. That's exciting. I really like the red Brembos. Looks like the STI suspension survived, too. Look at that. Can't see that on a normal BRZ TS. And obviously the side skirt survived all the way down. Uh, the door did not get damaged. But if you see back there, quarter panel did. And right now, that wheel being turned this way, this wheel being turned this way, we got monster truck steering right there. Look at that. Imagine the turning radius on that with how this wheel's turned and the back one's turned. So, let's see what we can do just train this tire out because i do need to get the car into the shop in there there goes the daily i need to get it in there so i gotta figure out what bent here normally it's gonna be your lower control arm it could be your toe arm or it could be your trailing arm in this case i have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna be the toe arm so I guess we'll see that right now when we remove that. Here's the quarter panel. Destroyed. Destroyed. Door survived 
miraculously look at that and the side skirt so that's that's amazing right there uh even the window look at that even the window survived the, the rear window didn't even break that's sick cool thing about this is i actually have a quarter panel let me show you that now so this here is my pile of parts it's like a table it's got focus st stuff frs I mean fiesta st stuff uh two, don't don't worry about the 2jz it's got nothing but brz parts out of a blue brz i have frs parts as well but i have tons of parts and look what i have the only remaining part of my blue brz is this quarter panel that i chopped off before throwing the chassis away so i have a free quarter panel that's like a 500 dollars savings right there this is why I buy so many of these cars because I have parts for days and it saves me a lot of money so I know I'm going to keep buying them so I know I'm going to keep stocking parts of, for those cars. Back to the car. So now I'm going to show you guys what made me fall in love with this car. Not specifically this one but a BRZ TS. So the interior is pretty much the whole reason I bought this car, I really wanted the interior. I was thinking about parting it out, selling the wing, selling the Brembos. Oh, I might would want to keep those Brembos, but sell the Brembos or sell the Brembos on my car. I put these Brembos on my car um, and take the seats, the seats, the interior, everything. Look at this leather, red leather, suede, TS logo. Um, armrest, my car doesn't have that. Some warm booty buttons. Obviously black trim all the way around. Black trim, shiny black trim. More shiny black trim. Red shift knob. Red STI button. Let me focus that, sorry. Red STI button. Shiny climate controls. Obviously the electronic climbing climate controls i said climbing climate controls uh this is cool too um this is cool as well seems like it survived right and uh only that seat airbag blew out on that seat obviously when the airbag blows out there's like stitching right here so you just gotta restitch it um main airbag blew out steering wheel is in Pretty good condition you know it's not all worn out i mean 3900 miles it's not really gonna be that bad right and then the, the dash the dash look at that there is a screen i don't have a screen in mine and it says sti look at that that's so good i don't think any other one says sti like that one i could be wrong don't quote me on that I could be wrong. Look at that. Leather and suede. Rear seats. The smell this car gives off is just so good. Like you sit in it. Obviously one that's not crashed like this. You sit in them and it just makes you feel like you're in a really fancy car. Not like the FRS. The FRS just feels like a sports car, you know, something with normal interior. But this, the smell, the feel, the looks, Obviously, I really wanted to have the buttons on the steering wheel. That's something that we don't have in the FRS. And uh, very comparable to my Lexus. My 2017 Lexus IS350 had a very nice interior and this kind of makes me feel, you know, the same with the luxury. You know, I think that's what we like. We like the luxury and that's probably why I really like this car. So I want to try and fix it. I think I can fix it. I think I can do it. I think. I think that if you guys want to see me fix it, you should comment down below, leave a like, and I will take the arduous job, very difficult job of replacing that, replacing the front, replacing suspension, pretty much replacing everything. You know, there's, there's a lot of the stuff that got damaged and swapping my parts over to this car. 
So I can go from a 2014 FRS to a 2018 BRZ TS. So I think, I think that that's a good idea, right? To have something, you know, pretty much upgrade the chassis. Obviously we're gonna get a lot of the BRZ TS goodies included or else that we would have had to spend a lot of money and just have a gorgeous car. Look at this thing, so beautiful. I can focus, there we go. So until next time guys, peace. Just kidding guys, it's not over. You guys know that we need to get this car in there. So let's try to get it in there. I wouldn't leave you guys on a cliffhanger like that. And then after that, we'll find out what we're gonna do with the car. But for now, I need to get it in. I gotta take off that wheel, find out what's damaged, fix it, and uh, try to get the car into the shop. So, got the wheel off. Brembo survived as well here, look at that. It's so pretty. I don't know, I don't know what it is about red Brembos, it just looks so good. Uh, top arm is good. Toe arm is good. It's that one right there. Toe arm is good. Trailing arm seems fine as well. Looks like the culprit is the lower control arm. Luckily, I have a bunch to spare. And looks like the tire was rubbing right here because of that. So if I can get that fixed, probably get this driving straight. If this is in the way, I might just chop it. It's gonna get chopped anyways. So yeah, gonna go ahead and remove that. Put one on, strain this back out. And then we should be good. Looks like nothing else got damaged under here. That's good. That's why I like the stock suspension because the stock control arms, they're made to crunch like that. Look at that, got all crunched up. So it saves your subframe and it saves, you know, a lot of the body stuff. So they designed it to have like a crumple zone. The wheel, the tire seems to have survived. It's not, it's not too damaged. It's just got a little bit of scraping on it. The wheel is pretty beat up, so. But, but it's not flat. That's good. That's very good. So let's go ahead and remove that. Get this wheel straight. And uh, try to see what we can do about the front one too. Door's not closing properly because of the quarter panel mess that this is. But that will be solved. Now where in between all my FRS parts can this be? Wait a second. What's that? Is it really that easy? Yo, look at that. OEM arm. I'm sorry, I have like five sets of these somewhere. So, found it. Now, I can uh, swap it out, look at that. Perfect. Not bent, a little dirty. I'm sure that one's dirty too. Place that. And uh, the wheel will be straight again. Thank you.